and it's trapped. Oh, mystique, no! Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Ark here on our cluster series. And today, we're gonna be doing just a few different things around the place. I have some, uh, I have a creature that I know I wanna try and tame, and I have a few other things to do. But first, we're gonna show you guys the base. So let me quickly just show you guys the inside, the little change that I made, and it is on this floor right here. So, um, we, we didn't actually have this floor before. It used to just be this, and then you can see right up to the roof. Uh, this will be the kind of like boss level so we're gonna have like the brood mother kind of tribute here we're gonna have like uh taxidermy we're gonna have like all the bits right here um and then rockwell and all the other ones whatever so there was like an there was like a lot of space and i was thinking okay well we should put in like another level and then i was thinking you know what would be really handy a little level of tribute kind of to our boss army so recently we've been working on the spino army and as you can see here is the uh the current progress actually you know what i gotta show you guys the actual spinos because i've done a lot more mutations on top of what we had before i think we had 18 now we have like 28 and it's crazy so but yeah uh these are the spinos right here and uh we're essentially just gonna have like a taxidermy thing there and then a cryo fridge beside it with all of the stuff inside of it like all of the spinos that we have in that army and like backups and everything so whenever i actually want to go ahead and fight a boss i can go ahead and just come straight to here and open up this fridge and take out 20 or whatever the hell i need uh and then we're also gonna have uh rexes eventually uh therizinos megatheriums probably only for fighting the brood mother though because that would be dumb to fight anything else uh reaper army believe it or not you can actually bring the reapers into the boss arenas it's kind of crazy and then i don't know what we're gonna put here um i might try something that i've never tried before i might try and eventually make like a woolly rhino army I don't know if that would work out well let me let me know some tips and and stuff down below about all that because like i've never actually used woolly rhinos in the boss arena but i know that people do use them um so obviously they're really good against the dragon because herbivores in general have like a resistance towards the fire and they have veggie cakes so they could eat those uh the rhino i don't i never really knew it to be a super op team so i want to try it out for sure because like the way I see it, Ark for me is all about trying all these different things that I haven't done before, coming up with new ideas and different things like that. And that's really what kind of motivates me to play Ark and everything. That's why I'm always so excited about new stuff and just like new series and everything, because I want to do things differently. But yeah, so this is going to be the boss level. It's going to have more decoration, probably. I mean, I might put up some flags or something. We'll see. Um, yeah, so this is what we've got so far. Obviously, I still have some more work here to do. I really got to finish off those pillars, don't I? Um, so I think that's it for the inside. I didn't make any more changes. But over here, as you guys will notice, now we have a second tower sort of built up. It's not really much of a tower, to be honest. Ugh. Don't drop. We're okay. <laughs> that was a terrible glide. So it's not really much of a tower. Um... I was originally going to have this one be much higher, but then I decided, you know what? We're going to just cap this one off. We have a kibble on the bottom floor right here. I decided to add a beehive in the very center. And then um, up above, we have farms. So we have just a bunch of things growing in here. All of the crops and several uh, medjo berries and narco berries growing. Uh, so right here, we have the plant species uh, Z plant, which is going to give you the little flashbangs um let's go ahead and just grab these things out these things are so fun i used to love banging all my friends <laughs> there you go there's a quote for that down below don't worry i knew i was gonna say that um so yeah we have <laughs> that's so wrong we have the uh, plant species z i also decided to to go ahead and grow some plant species y as well because i've never actually played around with these believe it or not they're like little traps any of them in here yeah you kind of like add them onto the ground and then they like snare kind of creatures that are that are walking over it i have to do a little bit of research though because i'm not sure what creatures can actually be grabbed with them oh by the way you may be wondering what the hell is with these crop plots these are seamless crop plots from s plus and they also come in a triangle variant which is great so um they all have a border like this uh let me, let me you know what let's just go ahead and show it off completely so that's what they pretty much look like like they all have like borders like that and then you can kind of like show and hide different with different sides that you want so i just went ahead and modeled it so it would basically only show the outside of this circle that i made and uh yeah all those crops are growing in here it's great you can't actually uh you can kind of see them 
these two right here don't didn't really look like they were there for a second when I was like, in this mode right now. I don't know, it's kind of weird. But uh, yeah, everything's growing, everything's fruiting, and it's all like popping straight into here. It's so lacking around here. I'm seriously, oh, I don't know what I'm going to do about that. But yeah, everything drops straight into here, and then I've been transferring it into here. So let's go ahead and just do that really quick because, yeah, I don't know. It might help out. There we go. Sweet. So yeah, this is all that we have so far. I planted all of this yesterday, so um, yeah, we've got a decent amount of stuff. It's great. Uh, oh, we've also got some beer barrels in here, and some of the other containers are just decoration to fill up this place. Uh, I might actually go ahead and, and irrigate these. These are actually irrigated off of the beehive down below, because in S+, plus, the beehive can actually water things if it's got rare flowers in it, and if it's producing honey, which is kind of weird to say, but yeah, it works that way like giant uh blue circle thing was the range on it oh, oh by the way you know what it's so like here oh my god <laughs> here's how many eggs we have i literally only emptied this a little while ago um we have so many eggs it's crazy i feel like i could just turn these things off and never bother with them again because this is way more kibble than i'm ever gonna use on here unless i walk around eating kibble all the time which i probably won't but yeah um so that's our little kibble farm that is our crop farm over here we're gonna have more of the kind of livestock stuff so dung beetles uh i want to also have probably a penguin one as well i i liked actually making little penguin uh organic polymer farms which is essentially uh penguins that breed the babies hatch and then like something like a moss chops eats the babies and then obviously harvests up that organic polymer. So we're going to have to do that at some stage. We did it in series two and series three, um, but I don't think we did it in series four. And that was like a long time ago. And the moss chops, I think had just come into the game at that stage. But um, so, yeah, I want to also have those here. Sheep as well for wool and probably other stuff if i can think of anything else that can go in here leave some suggestions down below if you know any more creatures that kind of passively uh produce some sort of resource that we can either shear off of them or get out of their inventory um i can't think of any off the top of my head right now i did make like a little list of a few but i think i mentioned them all i'm not sure all right well right now what i want to do is there is a griffin over here we're probably gonna need mystique or night owl i'm not sure which one let's just take mystique you know what i have a cryopod let's take night owl as well it's not too far it's literally like right over the other side over there i probably don't even need both of these creatures i could probably do this on foot but i'm just gonna bring them anyway um i do have some gates in my inventory i know that like they're metal for this trap you do not need to make metal gates do not make metal gates is what i'm saying it would be really dumb you can do it with stone i just have these and i can pick them up after uh so this is what the spinos look like by the way yeah oh wait no i got it up to 30 didn't i yeah so uh it is 14 health mutations and 16 melee mutations and this is what it looks like with a ton of xp on it um so we can see it's got 40,000 health i went ahead and just brought it up to 40 anyway i know i said i was gonna leave it at 35 but it was getting like a thousand per level so i i figured i might as well do that and then it's got a huge amount of damage so those things are gonna be beastly i cannot wait to take on the valkyro bosses i'm gonna try and do that semi soon i spotted this guy one of the days when um i was working on the spino stuff because i had to leave the base but i didn't have a flyer so i had to run all around this path right here um and then i spotted this and i was like what the hell a griffin over here i don't understand i've never seen a griffin in this specific spot right here but it's a 174 so i want it let's go ahead and just quickly trap this thing we've already tamed i believe we got a max level griffin a little while ago like mm, probably a long while ago to be honest it was near the start of the series i would say but um i mean we could probably use the that mod and maybe breed griffins at some point we did that in our ragnarok series that we had a few years ago ragnarok series one so that could be a possibility i'd really like to actually do that again because we got some insane colors on that thing we called it cobalt as well which is such a cool name uh now that looks to be a decent enough gap right yeah we should be able to get through here all right cool well yeah this is basically how you trap flyers in case you didn't realize oh you know what that's not an s plus gate i don't have to worry about that sometimes i like to just do these uh traps with normal gates because it's so much easier um let's quickly assist this griffin with killing that 
uh, Diplo. At some point soon, I want to actually tame some Diplos and make like a funny taxi or something like that. I think that would be really funny just to get like a, <laughs> just get like a Diplo and just pump only speed and then put like the saddle on it. It's got like a saddle that can bring like a bunch of people with you. Uh, I think it's like eight people, something like that. There we go. We got him. All right. So now we just got to get this Griffin's attention. There we go. Sweet. So we're just going to lead straight in like this. Ow. And it's trapped. Oh, Mystique, no! <laughs> oh, down, girl. Oh, my God. That could have been really bad. Mystique could have easily killed that thing. <laughs> All right. We're good. We're good. Um, oh, you know what? Do I have enough shocking trank tarts? I meant to make more. Wait, what am I doing? I had this rifle. All right. I guess we'll just put these on there now. Um, crap. I meant to make more. That's one other thing that I wanted to do before leaving the base. So let's quickly knock this thing down. Oh, man. Look at all this dust. I would need to be wearing goggles right now or else my eyes would probably be non-functional forever. Um, I'm pretty sure you can actually get headshots on Griffins. I'm pretty sure. I don't know if this is going to hit. Oh, my God. It actually hit. Uh, that was not a headshot. So I'm just going to assume that you can't. Just gonna hit it in the side because it's much easier um so yeah super easy flyer trap i've showed this thing off like hundreds of times but i figure i'll just mention it whenever i actually do show it off because otherwise it just looks really weird um obviously you can you could probably do this with wood gates actually if you had a pretty good rifle and you can knock down whatever creature you have uh quickly then you could probably do it with wood gates but be careful that they don't actually break the gate because if they do that then they're getting out uh, also leave enough space so you can walk between the gates and check that before. But, um, yeah, it's really handy because I have all these and I can just pick them up with the demo gun from S+. Let's see. Come on, buddy. What should we call you? I don't even know if... I, I don't even know if I want to name it because it might not even have good stats. There we go. It's down. <laughs> now, let's quickly just survey the area a little bit to make sure there's nothing like terror birds or hyenodons or something around here. Hyenodons have messed up so many of my teams in the past, and I just hate those things. Let's see. Um, okay. Oh, by the way, I should probably mention, uh, I am recording this before the big uh, Genesis announcement stuff, but the leak on the PlayStation Store has already happened, so I guess I could somewhat talk about it. Um, all, I have, all I'm going to say is that I'm really excited. Oh my god, the Dodic's still there. Do you guys remember this from a few episodes ago? That is hilarious. I'm not, I'm never going to kill that thing. I don't, I will kick whoever does a dino wipe on the server. I want that dodic there forever. <laughs> um, my God, it's so framey. Why are my frames right now? It just seems a little bit like framey. I don't know why. Maybe it's like when I'm leaving the base. Could be, I don't know. But yeah, so the big Genesis announcement thing. Uh, oh yeah. We're like dipping down to 30 for like a split second. Um, the big Genesis announcement is happening later on today. Uh, this is likely coming out the day after, I would think. Load in, bridge, please. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna... Sometimes I'm nervous that I'm just gonna fall through the world or something. Oh god, base, load in. There we go, come on. Give me that base. <laughs> uh, so yeah, um, I'm really excited for what I've seen so far. Okay, I was about to say, where the hell is that last one? What I've seen so far is basically the uh, the few creatures that they showed off, like that giant world turtle thing. Um, then they also have the, like, lava elemental, like, drake lizard dude. I don't know what to call him. Um, and then they also have that werewolf uh, thing, which is, by the way, I didn't realize when I made the little video that I made on that, I didn't realize that the, the werewolf like is that tiny little gremlin thing transformed when he eats that little crystal i can't believe that i didn't realize that when i was recording that video and i felt really stupid afterwards but yeah so that little gremlin guy uh eats that crystal and turns into a freaking werewolf that is crazy i'm kind of thinking because a few years ago here's a really good theory a few years ago they had this um it was coming up to like halloween and they said oh yeah we're gonna have a few new diseases uh we're gonna be able to Oh, you know what? I never brought any narcotic. Let's quickly just pick up some berries then. Um, a few years ago, they said, 
you're going to be able to uh, transform into a werewolf and a vampire through getting bitten by a werewolf, wolf or whatever, and then like a bat or whatever. Um, they said that was going to happen. That was like three years ago at this stage, by the way. This is the same update with the Dodo Wyvern, but I guess they said they said they wanted all of this stuff, but they didn't have the time to do all of it. So the werewolf thing um, never came out. And I'm thinking that if that little gremlin turns into a werewolf dude, once he eats that crystal, I'm kind of curious what would happen if we could eat that crystal. That would be kind of crazy. <laughs> Just a thought, but maybe we could turn into werewolves. That would be fantastic. And it would definitely make me happy because I was really excited for the werewolves and the vampires. And by the way, they pretty much had them done as well. I know somebody on the inside who is no longer on the inside who's basically just leaking stuff to me all the time. And, uh, yeah, they told me the reason why. Oh my god, no! You little ass. They told me the reason why they never actually released them, and it's the dumbest thing, because they were pretty much done. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> just, uh, it's kind of funny. It really is. So we might eventually see, uh, survivors being able to turn into werewolves. That would be fantastic. I'd love that so much. Um... Let's quickly just drop in some of these narco berries. We probably didn't get that many. And we got a few. Alrighty, so I'm just going to watch this thing for a little while. Obviously, it doesn't tame up immediately. Oh, he's eaten. Oh, no, he hasn't. Okay, I think I saw, like, that yellowy thing and thought that was taming progress. But, um, you know, I might just run back to base and grab some narcotic. Uh, Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and uh, sort this thing out. And I'll see you guys in a little bit when it's up. We can check out the stats and whatnot. Hey, we got our dude. All right. Uh, do I have a demo gun? I do. Nice. Let me just pick up all this stuff. I just spotted a tech raptor over there. Who is now eating a terror bird that I killed. So let's quickly... Oh, he's coming for my dude. Got him. <laughs> Alright, let's see. So let's quickly just check out the stats here. Ooh, gotta grab that out. Hopefully it didn't eat any of it. Alright, I think we're good. So, um... In terms of health, actually, that seems to be pretty good. I haven't actually tamed many griffins, so I can't remember what what's good in terms of health and everything. Uh, oh, I left Mystique up here because I figured, like, I could just probably glide from here back over to the taming trap, so went ahead and just did that. Um, in terms of stamina, that doesn't look too bad. You know what? Actually, let's quickly just grab out our other griffin and just take a look at that. I don't know if I leveled it much. I hope that I didn't because it'd be a lot easier... To quickly just look at its stats if it wasn't leveled right now as opposed to actually having to go back to that old video and find out what it had so griff there we go did i level you oh i totally did <laughs> all right so i can't remember what it had i guess i could look back at some stage and figure out what it has but um yeah let's see i mean like they don't look too bad it's honestly been a while since I've tamed a griffin. I can tell right now that the melee is not good. So that makes me hopeful that the health and the stamina are good. Because that's the main thing that you want on a griffin. You want a decent amount of stamina to begin with. Um, and then you don't have to pump so many levels into it. Um, and then obviously health as well. I honestly really like the griffin. Especially for like PvP stuff. Because it's such a good PvP mount. Because it's a flyer that you can shoot off of like how good is that i don't know if anybody really utilizes the uh the double like it's not really a saddle but you know like the dual mounting or whatever so you can have somebody on the griffin with you but yeah i never really bothered with that too much yeah there we go all right not bad actually that's pretty good i remember it, it's been a while since they did it but they nerfed the griffin so hard back in the day it was out for months and then Suddenly, I like logged on and I was like, what the crap? My griffin's missing half of its health. Like, I'm not even kidding. It actually was. I'm pretty sure that our mutated griffin, uh, not, yeah, wait, was it, oh yeah, it was mutated. Our mutated and imprinted and everything griffin was doing like a crap ton of damage and that got nerfed heavily, but I think it also had like close to 40,000 health because I think we just pumped in so many levels into it. Um, and yeah, it was just, I think I logged on then and it had like 25k or something, which is insane still, but like, considering the fact that it lost half of it, that just didn't make sense. <laughs> Been a while since I used these things as well. I gotta get used to the dive bomb attack. Yeah, no, I gotta land. Out of stamina. 
Alrighty, so let's quickly just dispatch these guys so they don't bug me. Oh, you moved, didn't you? Of course you did. Of course you would move. Back here. Can we get them? Is that no, can't hit them. I love this when you when creatures get too close, you just can't kill them. It's great. They need to fix this. They seriously do. There we go. We're good. Alrighty. So yeah, I didn't really want to make this like a Griffin episode, so we're gonna chuck this thing back into the base. I'm not really gonna level it just in case, um, in case we want to actually do some Griffin breeding using that mod that allows creatures to be able to breed. But uh, yeah, we have the stats here on camera, so at least if I did level it, I could just check back on this video. Let's see. Gotta get inside of here. Alrighty, well, we're gonna continue with the rest of the episode. Okay, so one more thing I want to do is head over to the museum because I feel like I've seen so many comments lately and I feel like a lot of people have thought that I kind of abandoned the museum project. Not at all. Honestly, I kind of just want to get more creatures and do more bosses and all this stuff before I actually continue to build it. But I guess I could show you guys the progress on it so far. So as we've been kind of like mutating creatures, I've been coming over here and adding them in. Uh, so we have quite a few new additions from the last time that you saw it. Let's just land around here. I forgot that I did the bone dinos back there. That looks awesome. Uh, all right. So, uh, let's see. So on this side, uh, we've added in Winston. Obviously, as you can see, it looks like he's supposed to be holding a silica pearl, but he's not. Uh, then we still got the stupid pigeon here. Still trying to figure out what I want to do about the unicorn situation. If you guys remember, yeah, this is the actual unicorn one. It comes out as a horse. Really, really dumb. Like, this is a unicorn, but it's not. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's so stupid. And that really, like, kind of worries me about some of the rest of the creatures that I want to try and put into this museum. Because if the unicorn's like this, then there's probably tons more creatures that are actually like that as well. Uh, oh, man. We need to do Therizino uh, mutations at some point soon. I want a really cool one. Um... Just a bunch of other guys here. Let's go over to the other side. I don't know if anything really in this one is new. I know there's quite a lot in the Redwoods uh, area of the museum. Yeah, there's nothing really in here that's new. Uh, but I do have a bunch of uh, Dermises in here. Oh, we also need to find a spot for this. I have no clue where I want to put it. Um, and also, eventually, we're going to need another section for the Genesis stuff. Uh, oh, by the way... I don't know if anybody noticed this earlier on the video, but what the crap? Why do I have two of these? Like, one time I logged on and I didn't have any, and now I have two? I'm so confused. I'm gonna have to kill my character and see if this sticks. It's very, very confusing. I have no clue why I have two. Yeah, I mean, like, I, I didn't have that. I definitely didn't have that when I traveled last, so maybe something bugged out when I traveled back to this map? I don't know. But yeah, for some reason I have two of them. <laughs> I mean, is there another one in the other wrist? No? It's just just the one wrist, right? Can't even see it. <laughs> but yeah, uh, so it's kind of messed up. Anyway, we've got a bunch of these in here. So this is the Indominus Rex. Uh, we've got a Snail, Tech Rex. Um, that's a Alpha Fire Wyvern. Dung Beetle, Fire Wyvern, Ice... Ice worms. We got tons of those. I'm going to probably have to put some of those somewhere else. Uh, we've got a gym one. <laughs> we've got the Mosa. Uh, oh, you know what? Actually, I kind of want to check out the Megalodon. Uh, which one of these is pretty much... You know what? I'll, I'll drop them into this one because then I don't have to change anything. So there's the Megalodon. So that's our new Megalodon right there. Super awesome, actually. I'd probably go for the biting. Oh, there's a fourth one. That's different one and then that's like the first one interesting so i'd probably go for that it's kind of offset to the side though which just annoys me i'd almost actually want to go for a different one just because it's offset so much i'd almost kind of want to go for this one um but i probably won't i don't know we'll see uh but yeah that's kind of cool i mean could i take that out sweet the pole's just gonna stay there uh so yeah we we, we gotta make like the ocean section which i believe oh crap I believe that the ocean section is supposed to be the next uh, building that we have. But yeah, I'll go ahead and put these into the proper folders and everything at some point. Um, I have checked out the Mosa and Tuso uh, Dermises, and they look pretty cool. So I'm excited for those. Um, anyway, so in here, uh, I really meant to actually get some event color ones of these. 
so i don't know we haven't done dino wipes on any of the maps so that i could probably find some and uh put those in at some point because obviously you can't tame or breed those uh we've got the archer microraptor monkey bat we gotta tame bats at some point believe it or not i've never actually tamed a bat in arc and i know the last time i mentioned that somebody was like syntax you're an idiot you can't tame the bats you can actually <laughs> I don't know. I, I feel like a lot of people don't know it, but you can actually tame them. It, you can't ride on them or anything, which sucks. But yeah, they are tameable. Um, it's just I, I don't think they're a great creature. I, I guess now they give mega rabies. So they might be useful. Anyway, Terror Bird. I've got to do mutations on those guys at some point. Anki Dodic. Uh, oh, we've got Mystique in here. We have that monkey from before. Uh, oh, I forgot to add in the... I didn't bring it with me, I guess. i got to get a Dermis of the Megalosaurus from... Uh, aberration because we got mutations on those recently so i gotta add that in so that was that would mean that there's like a line of quite a few mutations here in a row and i still gotta do more mutations with the gigantopithecus but um for now that's just that one mutation that we got ages ago mystique looks really awesome right there uh then we have chandra and we have the um blue megatheriums and then eventually we're gonna have rex mutations as well uh, over here we have Titan. Uh, I'm gonna have to get an event colored one of the one of those at some point. So I might be able to find one on one of the maps. We'll see. Uh, we got the Bronto. I want to do Bronto mutations at some point soon. Uh, Griffin, and then we've got the Tape Jar, Saber, Kangaroo. Yeah, just a few other ones on this side. None of these down here are mutated. I need to start taming some of the smaller creatures, and I have plans to tame. Uh, Trudons at some point soon. I might use Wyvern babies to actually tame them because you have to basically sacrifice something to it, <laughs> make it eat a creature to uh, to tame it. And I think it's always fun letting them eat like uh, Wyverns or something like that. You know what? Actually, if we could get Giga babies, then that could be a thing. We might do that actually. Maybe I'll hold out until we tame more Gigas. Speaking of Gigas, I should probably go out and have a look because I haven't had a look in quite some time. So I might check out. The, uh, the Gigas in the Highlands and then all the other spots as well um, down the desert and everything. So yeah, right here we have the new Spino and then we have the Baryonyx that we got a little while ago. Pretty awesome. Uh, over here, do we have anything really? Not really. I don't think we've really mutated any of these guys here. Nah. We still need event colors of like some of them though, obviously. Um, and then I don't think there's anything new in here and I still got to finish this building a little bit more. Can I get up? Nope. Um, so yeah, we, that's not a mutation. That's an event colored one. I want to replace that at some point with an actual mutation. And then that's the one that cheese gave me. Uh, so I want to replace that with my own, uh, creation. I, <laughs> I never liked the, the weird green on that. I think it looks goofy. Um, so yeah, we have quite a few creatures to mutate. We got to do these at some point. We should probably like focus on a specific area. And I feel like just focusing on this one right here wouldn't be too bad because it's only like 12 creatures and... The majority of these creatures are relatively useful. We actually plan on doing mammoth mutations at some point soon, so we could do that. We'll see. But, um, yeah, quite a few of these creatures are useful. So, yeah, we could probably do that. We'll see. Anyway, uh, so that is the museum. I just figured I'd come over and give you guys a bit of an update because I have been seeing so many comments. I know people really love the idea of this project. Um, oh, by the way, down there, that's where the old uh, snow area used to be. But if you guys remember... I, I figured that it would be easier just to put it up here with this one because both of these are relatively small. So we still got to build up this building at some point and we'll like replace that with the ocean or something. We'll see. But um, yeah, I see so many people really excited for more museum stuff. And honestly, I'd love to do a lot of it, but like I, I do need to wait and see what I can get from the bosses uh, because I feel like if we fight Rockwell, somebody told me that you can't get a Dermis from him legit. So what we're going to have to do, which really sucks, but I guess it's okay. Um, if we fight Rockwell and we kill Rockwell, uh, if I can't get a Dermis from him, I will spawn one in, force tame it, get myself a Dermis, and then obviously get rid of it. So yeah, that's probably going to be what we're going to have to do because otherwise we're just not going to be able to have a Rockwell Dermis and then... Our museum's just gonna look really dumb because it's gonna be like all the other bosses and then not Rockwell. So yeah, and I don't know what we can do about the Overseer. Somebody was telling me that you can't get one from the Overseer as well, like legit. So I might have to do the same. But um, yeah, I figured I'd give a little bit of an update around here. And obviously we've got so many more creatures that can go in. I just need to get to that area. 
So, um, yeah, I think that's probably going to be it for today. I have so many other things that I need to do. Uh, we're still working on the end of Ultimate Arc, so expect that really, really soon. And by the way, when I say the end, I mean the end of the Scorch Saga. Uh, so not the end of the whole series. Uh, but yeah, anyway, that's going to be it for today. If you guys have enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit the like button. I know we didn't really do anything huge, but sometimes there's just a few little things I want to show off and talk about and do. And we got our new Griffin, so that's a little bit of progress right there. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for today. If you have enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe if you want to see more, and we'll catch you in the next one. One of the